After a marathon meeting between the SAFA executive and Gordon Egerson, Egerson could not convince SAFA to extend his contract beyond its expiry date at the end of August. Egerson was tasked with reaching at least the semi-finals of the African Nations Cup and qualifying for the World Cup in Brazil. He failed on both targets. As a result, Egerson and his technical team would leave at the end of August. Now, as you may know, we signed an agreement with the current head coach of Bafana Bafana, Gordon Egerson, uh, a fixed term contract with a commencement date of 1 July 2012 and automatically terminating on the 30th of August 2014. The contract sets out the, the targets to be achieved. One uh, was that in the African Cup of Nations 2013, he should proceed to at least the semi-finals of the AFCON 2013. Secondly, to qualify for the 2014 uh, World Cup in Brazil, uh, and that uh, we should at least qualify out of the group stages in Brazil. Uh, the Chan tournament uh, performance was not included in the contract and therefore uh, we uh, note that but we did not uh, spend a lot of time on that. And the committee then informed him that while his contract uh, will remain with its termination date of 30th of August, we will not renew the contract post that date. SAFA now begins its search for Egerson's successor. The names of Carlos Querosh and Stephen Keshi have been thrown about in the media. We will only find out how true these speculations are after their respective World Cup campaigns. Miguel Omadala, SABC News, SAFA House.